What is up YouTube, it's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel, where we keep it real, and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, as I'm sure you will all be aware, the latest set, Silver Tempest, was released in the UK just a few days ago. So come with me on a short trip to my local comic book store to pick up some boosters. Let's go. So guys, after a short journey, I made my way to my local comic book store, made my way in, and I was one of the first people there on the day, greeted by the store owner, James, who was cracking open a brand new case of Silver Tempest booster boxes, which was pretty cool to see. He'd also cracked open the ETB case as well, so they were ready to be sold. And as you can see around the school store, we've got plenty of products here, including singles in the background. We've got ourselves free pack blisters as well. Lots of old school games as well, such as Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. We also had this display of Pokemon Go products. And looking around the store here, you can see how many comic books we have laying around. There was also another gentleman in the store as well who was cracking into three booster boxes of Silver Tempest, getting some amazing hits on the way, including Rainbow Rare Trainers. And the one that stood out to me most of all was the Rayquaza VMAX from the Trainer Gallery slot. We've got sleeves, we've got binders, we've got loose cards from recent sets and old sets, more tins, mini tins, and we've also got these collection boxes as well. Dragonite V, Pokemon Go, Alakazam V as well, including others. But we are here for the Silver Tempest. Fortunately, I was able to select my boosters from a brand new Silver Tempest booster box. So I picked out the ones that I thought were gonna be luckiest. Now I was actually trading in today some of my other ultra rares that I've got doubles of. So I traded those in for 12 booster packs in total and then I made my way home and let's see what we can pull. So guys, we're back home now and ready to rip open some booster packs. I'll be opening up eight of the 12 booster packs that we got today from the local comic book store. We've got two Reggie Lecky pack art. We've also got two Reggie Drago as well. Two Alolan Vulpix pack arts. And then of course, last but by no means least, we've also got two Lugia pack arts. So looking forward to get stuck into our boosters. As for the other four that we've got today, we're gonna to be saving those for a future video. So make sure to stay tuned on the channel for that video. And if you're ever in the area, and you're interested in checking out my local comic book store, I have left all of the details in the description down below. Absolutely great shop. It's where I get a lot of my products for the channel. So be sure to check that out. Booster packs are only £3.50 each as well, which is an absolute bargain, I'd say. So make sure to check that out if you're ever in the London area. Okay, guys, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, looking forward to getting stuck into these booster packs. However, before the hunt for some shiny cardboard, please make sure to smash Smash that like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe I upload videos every Monday and Friday so be sure to have all notifications on so that you never miss a video okay guys let's get stuck into some booster packs I'm gonna get stuck into one with the Reggie Lecky on the front first and foremost now as for our chase cards in this particular set there are so many awesome cards as always but I'm after the Vulpix and the Arcanine full art I would also love to pull the Golden Lugia as well as the Golden Surviper I would also love to pull the Lugia and the Unknown Alternate Arts. And then from the Trainer Gallery slot, I would love to pull the Rayquaza and the Corviknight. So let's see what we can potentially get today. Obviously, all of the cards that we're going to be getting in today's video will be going into the collection as this is the first time opening Silver Tempest on the channel. There is a code card for you all. We will, of course, do four round to the front and let's see if I have chosen the correct boosters from that booster box. So we kickstart things off with a metal type energy. We go in into a slur puff. Very nice artwork there. We will go a little bit slower on the first couple of boosters just so that we can appreciate that artwork. Lance trainer card follows that one. Going on into an Archen. Esper comes after that one, which is a psychic type Pokemon. Moving on into a Smeargle, very nice indeed. I believe this card has a very, Smeargle has a very nice trainer gallery card as well in this set. Ferro Seed follows in after that. I always feel like the Ferro Seed artwork looks very similar no matter what set it's in. Fletchling follows that card there. As we move on into a Snow Runt, following the Snow Runt, we have ourselves a Gym Trainer Trainer card, which is an uncommon, so nothing from that Trainer Gallery slot in our first booster. Going into the actual rare, can we get ourselves some first pack magic? We have 
and Amoongus non hollow rare. So, nothing amazing to kickstart this opening. However, it is just our first booster pack out of a total of eight. So, we'll put that down to the side and we'll then get stuck into our next booster pack in hope for some better pack luck. Let's get stuck into one with the Reggie Drago on the front this time round. Lovely pack up there. Do really like the Silver Tempest pack up. It is very nice indeed, very shiny, nice colours on the front as well. So let's see what we can pull from this one. Surely we have to get ourselves a couple of nice hits today to kickstart off the binder. So let's tuck that package in to the side. We'll give you a code card at home. Do give those away in all of the videos, so make sure we're making good use of those. That gets chucked to the side. Four round to the front. And we kickstart this particular booster off with another metal type energy. So back to back metal type energies this time. We go on into an unidentified fossil trainer card. Glalie comes in after that, which is a water type Pokemon. Going into a Candice trainer card. Noibat, which is a dragon type Pokemon, follows that one. Going into a Pikachu, really love that artwork. I have seen this pulled on other um, content creators' channels and I really wanted this Pikachu. Really hoping to get it in Reverse Hollow as well very soon. Very nice artwork there on that card. Very nice indeed. So we're going into a Spinder. Following our Spinder, we have ourselves... Oh, Spinder's gone flying. We have ourselves a Rolt following that card. After the Rolt, we move on into a Venonat, which is a Grass-type Pokemon. Going into an Altaria Reverse Hollow, which is just an uncommon, so nothing from that Reverse Hollow slot for, um, in the Trainer Gallery slot. Going into our rare, we have a Reunclis Hollow. We will take it. Absolutely butchered that name there. Reuniclis. I'm not even sure how you say that. It's the first time I've actually ever seen this Pokemon, to be honest with you. Reuniclus. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to go for Reuniclus. I probably am totally wrong. If there's a different way of pronouncing it, do let me know in the comment section down below. But Reuniclus is the first hit from today's opening. It is a regular hollow, but of course one that we need for the um, collection. Sleeve that up and we will place that onto one of the easels at the back. Like I said, that is actually the first time ever seeing that particular Pokemon. Now I'm obviously back into Pokemon within the Sword and Shield era, and I don't recall that particular Pokemon being in any of the other sets. So that will be one of the reasons as to why I have not seen that particular one. Let's go into another booster pack though, and let's hope to um, move forward and get ourselves something even better than that regular Hollow. So we'll get stuck into the one with the Alolan Vulpix on the front this time round. And let's see what we can pull from this booster. I would love to pull a trainer gallery card today as well. It'd be great to sort of start off that part of the collection as well. So let's chuck that to the side. We'll give you a code card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. And then of course, four rounds to the front. One, two, three, four. There is a lot of talk that this may be the last set to have trainer gallery cards for some while. So we better make the most of it whilst we've got them. Water type energy starts with this one. Going into a water type Pokemon in the form of Araquanid. Stonjourner follows that one there. Moving on into a Golbat. Following our goal back, we move on into a Dreepy, which is a Psychic type Pokemon. Lovely artwork on that by the boy himself, Tomokozul Kamiya. Going into a Baneri after that one. After that, we have ourselves a Rotom, which is an Electric type Pokemon. Swablu comes in after that one. Moving on into our next card, which is a Murkrow. Going into our potential trainer gallery slot, can we pull ourselves something? We have. A Slurpuff Reverse Hollow from that slot, which isn't uncommon. So no Trainer Gallery card this time round. Let's move into our rare. Let's see if we can get ourselves our first Ultra Rare of today's opening. We go on into... And I'm a Starby! Let's go! I'm a Starby! First Ultra Rare from Silver Tempest. Pulled from the Alolan Vulpix pack up. I'm a Starby! Pulled from Silver Tempest. Very nice indeed. First ultra rare hit of today's pack opening. Omastar V, lovely artwork on that. Very, very nice indeed. Let's get that sleeved up. Quite happy with that pull. Silver Tempest starting us off really positively with that hollow and with this Omastar V. Very nice indeed. Let's give that the center stage right there on the middle easel. Very nice. Let's get ourselves stuck into a Lugia pack art next. And let's see if we can add to what we've got. It'd be great if we could get all of those easels 
filled up today with hits. So let's see what else we can get from this booster pack. So let's rip this one open and chuck the package into the side, give you that code card at home. So good luck to whoever receives that. Chuck that to the side as well, and then we'll do four round to the front. Make sure you smash that like button as well on this video as well, guys. And if you're new, then make sure to subscribe as well. We've got ourselves our third metal type energy of today's opening. Seems to be quite a common one. Going on into a low punny. Following our low punny, we have ourselves a quad stone trainer card. Regenerative energy card comes in after that one. As we go on into an Emolga. Following this electric type Pokemon, we have ourselves a Vulpix, very nice indeed, strutting about, looking very proud. Following this, we have ourselves a Dreepy, once again with that Tomokozu Kamiya artwork on the front. Going into another Rotom, after this we have ourselves a Swirlix. Following the Swirlix, we move on into a Reverse Hollow, hollow Togedemaru, which is a common so nothing from the trainer gallery stuff there. Going into the actual rare, and then we'll be halfway through our boosters. We have a Zero Aura non-holo rare. So nothing amazing from that slot, but of course, all of the cards will be going into the binder today as it is the first time opening Silver Tempest on the channel. So we're halfway through our um, today's opening, I should say, and we've got ourselves the Star V as well as the Reuniclus. Um, holo card at the back there. We've got ourselves four booster packs remaining. Let's get ourselves stuck into another Reggie Drago pack art this time round. And let's see what this booster pack has in store for us. Make sure as well that you've checked out our Instagram page as well. The link for that is in the description to this video. So make sure to go and check that out. There is a code card as well. The code cards are looking very off-centered as well, but thankfully the cards are looking in pretty good shape. We'll do four round to the front and we kickstart this one off with a Lucky Leaf energy this time round. Let's see what we can pull then. We move on into a Waylord. First time seeing that card this time in this set. Going on into a Ninetales, very nice indeed. First time seeing that one as well. Claydol follows that card there, which is a fighting type Pokemon. As we go in into a Sandile, following the Sandile, we move on into a Snow Runt. Noibat follows in after that. As we go in into the next card, which is a Feebas. After our Feebas, we move on into a Spinder. And our reverse holo slash trainer gallery card of this particular booster is a Medicham reverse holo, which is actually a rare, so that's not too bad at all in terms of reverse holos from the set. Going into the actual rare, can we get ourselves something to go along with the hits at the back? We have a Reggie Lecky V! Let's go! Reggie Lecky V! One that's of course needed for the set. Reggie Lecky V pulled from the um what was that? That was the Reggie Drago pack art that time. So Reggie Lecky V pulled from the Reggie Drago pack art. Very nice indeed. One that is of course needed and one that will and one that will, sorry about that, I had a missed phone call, so I don't know what happened there, but it is still recording. And we have ourselves the Reggie Lecky V, like I said there. Let's get that sleeved up and placed onto one of the easels at the back. Just had a phone call popping up on my phone screen here, and I thought it had stopped recording, but it hasn't done, so we continue to keep the show going. So we move into our next booster pack. Let's get stuck into the Reggie Lecky booster pack this time round. Three more booster packs left, including this one, and let's see what we can pull. Okay, so let's rip this one open and let's hope for a trainer gallery here. Really hoping for one of those. Of course, these are all picked out of a brand new fresh booster box, so I did have first dibs on all of that. So let's see if I have chosen correctly. Not too bad so far at all. Couple of V cards and a hollow. However, I would like something a little bit better than just a V card. Maybe I'm just being a bit fussy but always got high expectations. Fire type energy starts off this booster pack. Going on into a Jinx with that lovely artwork there. That there is done by Tomokozu Kamiya once again. Toxapex follows that card there as we move on into a Professor Laventon trainer card. Rolts follows that card there as we go on into our next one, which is a Spinarak, which is a grass type Pokemon. Following that, we have ourselves that Drowsy, Looking very nice there under the night sky. Following this, we have ourselves a Baneri. 
Moving on into our next card, which is a Chime Cho Chimeko Chimcho. Following this, going into a potential trainer gallery slot, we have a Wallace trainer reverse holo, which is just an uncommon. Going into the actual rare, can we get ourselves something nice? We have a Hisuian Lilligan non holo rare. So nothing from that particular um, booster pack there, just a rare non holo Hisuian Lilligan, which is a grass type Pokemon. We've got our final two booster packs of today's opening. We've got the one with the Alolan Vulpix on the front and the Lugia. We'll get stuck into the Alolan Vulpix pack art next. Let's see if we can get ourselves a couple more hits just to fill up those easels at the back of the screen. So let's get the top snips off there and let's crack open this booster pack like so. Chuck that to the side and here is another code card for you all at home. That goes flying as well. And then we do four round to the front. Okay, let's see what we can get in this penultimate booster pack. Another metal type energy that has been making so many appearances in today's opening. From this, we go into a Crocorock. After our Crocorock, we have ourselves a Behem, which is a very nice artwork on that card. Very like that. Like that a lot, I should say. Breaks and follows that one as we go in into a Sunken. Following our Sunken, we move on into a Bow Toy. After the Bow Toy, we have ourselves a Beldum, which is a metal type Pokemon. Following this, we have ourselves a Murkrow. Going into what I believe is our trainer gallery slot, we have nothing just yet because there is another common card in the form of Fennekin. Now our potential trainer gallery slot, we have ourselves a Sandile Reverse Hollow, which is just a common. Going into the actual rare of this booster pack, we have a Terrakion Hollow. And we will take it Terrakion Hollow, which is a fighting type Pokemon pulled from our penultimate booster pack. So that there is very nice indeed. I do like the artwork on that card. Um, roaming around the mountains there is Terrakion. Very nice card indeed. We'll get that sleeved up and we will place it onto one of the easels at the back. So we've got ourselves two hollows and two V cards from the seven booster packs that we've opened so far. So we've not done too bad actually from that rare slot. Nothing from the trainer gallery slot. However, we still have one more opportunity to get something as we go into our final booster pack, which is the one with the Lugia pack art on the front. Hoping for a bit of last pack magic, hoping that this booster pack contains a little bit of juice, a little bit of spice, and let's see what we can pull. So, finally got the top snips of that one there. All right, let's get this one ripped open and let's see what we can get. So, finally managed to get it open. Let's chuck that to the side and let's give you a co-card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. Final co-card of today's opening. And we'll do four round to the front. And we kickstart this particular booster pack off with a water type energy. And we move on into our first Pokemon of this booster with a Hypno, very nice artwork on there. Going on into an Archon. Following our Archon, we have ourselves a Serena. After the Serena, we have ourselves a Dupida. Going on into a Venonat. Following this card, we go, we go on into a Ponyta. Very nice artwork on that. Very much like Ponyta and Rapidash. After this, we have ourselves a Pikachu. Once again, lovely artwork. Going on into a Ferris Seed, a Reverse Hollow slash Trainer Gallery card of today's opening in this last booster pack is a Persimian Trainer Gallery card. Let's go. Last pack magic with the Persimian Trainer Gallery card. Very nice indeed. Needed a Trainer Gallery card here. Managed to fill up all of the easels now. That there is very nice indeed. Trainer Gallery card, eight out of 30. Persimian Trainer Gallery card pulled from our last booster pack. Very nice indeed. Very, very happy with that. Extremely happy with that, in fact. Let's go into our final card of this particular opening. Our final card of today's opening is an Armaldo non holo rare. So, nothing amazing from that one. Let's have a closer look at that Silver Tempest um, trainer gallery card pool. And as you may be able to see, actually, on the top right of the card, there is some form of mark just there on top of the um, fighting type symbol. I'm sure you can probably see that at home. It's like some sort of scratch 
if it focuses, you may be able to see that. So there is actually a little bit of damage to that card, which is a little bit annoying and a little bit disappointing. We'll have a look at the back. Not much wrong with the back, to be honest with you, but that there is a little bit disappointing with that little mark on the top right. However, it doesn't take away the fact that we did manage to get ourselves from last pack magic a little bit of fire from that final booster pack that we had, which means that all five of the easels laid out today do get filled like so. And overall, we haven't done too bad in terms of um, pack to hit ratio. We've managed to get ourselves five hits from a total of eight booster packs. So let's just recap what it was exactly that we did get in today's opening. So we kick-started things off with that Reuniclus Hollow card, as you can see there. That is our Hollow card that we got. Then we also got the Terrakion as well, which is another um, Hollow card. Following that, we've also got ourselves the Reggie Lecky. Omastar is another V card that we got as well that we go going straight into the binder. And then last but by no means least, our biggest hit of the day, in my opinion. Bit of a shame to have the bit of damage in the top right corner. However, we will still be sliding this straight into the binder. We pulled ourselves the Persimian Trainer Gallery card from Silver Tempest with a little bit of last pack magic. So we finally managed to kickstart that Trainer Gallery subset as well. So over the moon with that, Persimian Trainer Gallery card pulled in the final booster, which is a bit of last pack magic indeed. Okay, let's place that on the back there. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the first look that we had at Silver Tempest on the channel. We do have lots more videos and fun content coming up soon, as well as more Silver Tempest as well. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in to today's pack opening. Make sure that you've hit that like button on your way out and subscribed if you're new to the channel. But guys, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.